This is a one kilogram spool of Creelty Hyper Series 3D printer filament. This happens to be um, white PLA and it's a 1.75 millimeter sized filament. I was sent this to review for free. If you wanted to purchase it, it would cost you about $33. They haven't paid me for my review, and my opinions remain my own. So inside we have a cardboard spool. It's made out of recycled paper products. Um, and it has a nice little gauge here that kind of gives you an estimate of how many grams of filament are remaining based on how much you've done. Um, Hyper White PLA, 1.75, net weight 1 kilogram. Printing speed goes from 30 to 600 millimeters a second. The recommended printing temperature is 190 to 230 centigrade. Um, recommend bed temperature 25 to 60 centigrade with the fan turned on. So it comes packaged in a little vacuum bag and there is a silica gel bag on the inside here. All right, and it has a couple of little um, holes on the side for fixing the filament so it doesn't roll around on you too much. I guess first things first, let's check dimensionality here. So I got a 1.9 there when I pulled it back. Um, if I pinch it, I'm getting 1.73, but when I release, I'm getting 1.75 or 1.76. So I think it's, you know, pretty darn close to 1.75 here. As you can see here, you know, this filament is rolled on the spool just perfectly. It just goes left and right and left and right and left and right. And so it's unspooling very nicely. All right, first up, I'm just printing with my normal print settings. The fastest thing in here is going to be the infill at 100 millimeters a second. Um, so this is, you know, pretty laid back casual printing speed. And it says it's going to take about seven and a half hours to finish this little guy. I'm printing these hex displays for Funko Pop figures. All right, I turned my speed up to 240, and I'm getting uh, orange warning boxes here. Well, I've set this thing to 240 millimeters a second. Obviously, it can't get up to that except in really long stretches. Um, but it says it's going to take about three hours to finish. All right, so that took four hours and 17 minutes to print. So I've printed a lot of these guys with the Hyper PLA. So the first one I printed with my printer's kind of default settings, um, like 0.15 millimeter layer height. And I had some problems after this feature where the um, extruder would retract and push that out, but it really wouldn't start pushing filament until it moved a little ways away. And you can see I have, you know, this little cutout here and that little cutout there when the feature isn't here. Um, I've never seen that happen before with PLA, so I'm not sure what was going on with that. Um, I then went up to 0.3 layer heights, and that reduced this problem significantly because it's trying to push out more filament because the layer heights are bigger. Um, it still is evident that there's a little issue there. Um, I don't think that's a problem necessarily with the filament. I think that's more of a retract and extruder type setting that I could tune if I needed to. Um, so this was 60 millimeters a second. And then I doubled it up to like 120 millimeters a second. And so the 120 millimeter a second, really I didn't see any difference between the 60 and the 120. So it's working fine at double speed. My printer is not a speed demon. Um, I've printed a couple at 240 millimeters a second. Realistically, um, unless I was on a very long stretch, I probably wasn't really hitting the 240 millimeters a second. Um, and so really it didn't affect things. The print looked about the same. Um, you know, so I didn't really test this to the 600 millimeter a second setting. Now, I did have one time where at the very end of the print, the filament kind of stopped extruding properly. And it looks like the gear was kind of grinding the filament and ground it smooth and didn't really put a whole bunch out. It was kind of going slow. Um, and so at the top layer here, it's under extruded. 
Now, this is the same speed as some of the others, and I you know, tried printing again, and it printed fine. So I think that just happened to be this particular setup. And the only thing I changed is all of these guys were at um, 200 centigrade, and the range goes like 190 to 230. So I tried printing one at 220 centigrade, and it worked fine as well. So it might be you might want to go to the slightly higher um, temperature. Now, I'm still getting this little artifact here, um, even at the higher temperature. As I said, I think that's more my printer than the filament. So, you know, my printer's eight years old. It's not a super speed demon. This filament worked just as well as the other PLA filaments I've used. So I have no complaints about the filament. Um, I tried printing as fast as my printer could print. It definitely kept up with that. I can't, like, evaluate their 600 millimeter a second claims. Um, but as far as I can tell, it works fine.